So Prime Minister Letter is with me now. Let's just start on this issue with the Minister. Um, what is going on when a leading politician can use these sorts of racial epithets uh, against a minister, the first black minister in Italy? Does this reflect on Italy more widely or is it just a very specific issue? No, it's a big problem, of course. We asked him to resign because it was, uh, it was really a shame for the country, for the, for the image for the country, uh, in the world, of course. And uh, I think his approach was bad, stupid, and absolutely, absolutely, uh, it was necessary for him to resign. This is why I asked him to resign, and he is still there. It's a big problem for us. So do you think that this is rooted in something wider in the Eurozone? That there's, a, there's obviously a so, social and economic trauma caused by some of the austerity policies, by some of the economic reforms, by, by what's needed to keep the Eurozone together, essentially, and that this is creating some of this, some of this racial problem. We need a better Europe. We need a Europe more pro-growth with uh, structural reforms. We had a very important pension reform in Italy last year. We approved this reform. Italy's, Italy's uh, budget today is OK. We are, un with the, the budget under control, uh, below the 3% deficit, primary surplus uh, 2.5%. Our problem, of course, is the big debt, the lack of growth, and the rate of, rate of the unemployment. This is why I think it's absolutely necessary a European Union more pro-growth oriented with European policies, pro-growth, pro-digital agenda, pro-competitiveness. What do you say to the young people in Italy? There's many tens of thousands now leaving, not just in Italy, in Greece, in Spain, abandoning Europe. We, uh, we say to them, uh, your problem is our problem. This is why we are focusing all the, uh, the resources, the financial resources we have to cut labor, ta labor taxes for youth employment. I approved in the 70 days of my government life uh, a law with no taxes for youth employment. That will bring, I hope, more hope for youth and that will be, of course, hope for the future of the country. You said that Italy was dying from austerity. Someone must be to blame for that. Who, who, who made Italy die from austerity? Was it the Germans? Was it the ECB in Frankfurt? Oh, of course, it was our debt. The country, Italy, made enormous mistakes in the past, raising the debt, and now the debt is a problem, of course. So we have to, to have structural reforms, to reduce the debt, but at the European level, we need uh, growth policies. Shouldn't someone in your position, your, you run the Eurozone's third biggest economy, shouldn't you be going to Berlin and say that their approach is wrong? Some people in your own government say that. Mm -hmm. And, and that uh, Chancellor Merkel is playing to her own gallery. It's all about the German election. Why don't you tell her the Germans what to do? I think it's a problem. Uh, we are sharing the same problem with the Italians, the Germans, the France, the French. We need to change European policies, economic European policy, policies, not only austerity. Yes, no more debts, but not the austerity we experienced in the last two or three years. We need growth policies. We need, of course, structural reforms, but pro-growth oriented policies. This is the main point. In this new Europe, though, of course, Britain's relationship with a more centralised Eurozone-centric Europe will have to change. What powers can David Cameron get back? What are you going to tell him tomorrow? I think it's absolutely necessary to have the UK on board. I will do all my best to convince all the other European countries... Do you think it's a big risk we to, might leave? Yes, I think. Do you think it's a big Britain, risk that Britain might leave the European Union? I know that you, the, the, the UK citizens are discussing about their future in or out of the European Union. And I would say it will be a problem for the European Union, but also I think it will, it will be a problem for the UK, because the UK on board will be important for having a more free, uh, pro-free market Europe, more liberalised, more uh, innovative Europe, and playing as global player. And this is why, as 
Italian, I will ask to the, to the UK to stay on board, and I will say also to the other European countries, we have to help UK in these reforms. Prime Minister, thank you very much for your time, and back to you in the studio.